It's moving in my mouth. up y'all so i am in seoul south korea i am so happy to be here i've been wanting to come here for so long now so it just feels so good that i have arrived but uh, i feel a little bad as well so i just put up to my hotel <laughs> you know I, I go to check in and um they're like oh you're you're in the executive tower this is the main tower let's take you over there and i was like okay all right, so they take me over to the executive tower, and they're like, oh, and we see that you are a VIP Expedia member, because that's where I book a lot of my hotels on Expedia, and they're like, okay, so we're going to give you a free upgrade, and I was like, oh, period, I'm feeling great. They, they take me up to the upgraded room, because I booked the executive room, um, and they were upgrading me to the junior suite, which is a step above the executive room so I was like okay cool we go up to the room and I was like hmm. <laughs> mm, I, I don't I don't like it and I, I felt a little bad because I'm like mm, they gave me this upgrade but this is not given what what I wanted okay like the reason why I booked the room it, it wasn't it wasn't for this look it had a very old rich money type of look you know that antique look i will include pictures so that you guys can see and it was a bigger room but i was just like no this this is not why i booked this hotel okay i want this room i'm pointing to the picture <laughs> of the room that i booked. I, I want this room i like the decor way better in this room they were really nice about it but you know i just felt a little bad but i shouldn't to be honest because we need to stop feeling bad about uh, requesting the things that we paid for. This goes for uh, food or whatever, you know, side tangent. This goes for whatever, you know, don't feel bad for speaking up for what you paid for. You feel me? And I'm like, this this is not what I what I asked for. This is not what I wanted, okay? And again, I was nice about it, but it's like, mm, mm, give me, give me the room. So I will show you guys, uh, of course, uh, a tour of the room. It's a very cute room. I really, really love the decor. It, it looks a lot more modern than the junior suites. I feel like the junior suite would probably be more fitting for maybe an older person, a little older who likes that antique look, <laughs> but that's just not what I'm into. Okay. Um, the view is not as nice in this particular room, but I don't really care about a nice city view. That uh, junior suite room, the view was a lot better. Um, it just had a an unobstructed view of the city but it's just I don't really care <laughs> I don't really care about that. I'm gonna be out and about in the city okay in these streets and these soul streets so you know it's, it's fine that if the view isn't as good I care more about the room itself so I'm very happy with the downgrade <laughs> the downgrade from the junior suite to this particular room because this is the exact room that I booked um this is the one that I wanted so yeah I got it <laughs> but yeah they took me up to that junior suite child and I was like this is not a banger <laughs> this this is not a banger I know bangers this is not a banger to say what the fuck I wanted okay take me to the other room um but yeah I felt a little bad because I'm just like I've only been here a couple hours and I'm already offending the good Korean people <laughs> what am I doing I'm sorry but Honestly, though, it's not like they just did it just to be nice. That's actually a part of my membership with Expedia. Once you become a VIP member, um, once you book with specific hotels, that's the perk is that they, they automatically upgrade you. Um, so it's just actually standard practice. Anyway, <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. Um, I'm actually going to get some work done. Um, and then tomorrow we're going to hit these international streets. It's cold as hell here, though. I think it's so interesting how I've just jumped from the hell hot climate, you know, to a, uh, a hot climate, but not as bad. And then I went to Hong Kong and that climate was like perfect. And I was like, wow, it feels really good. And now now we in a cold zone. <laughs> it's cold as hell. I'm going to have to buy an actual coat. And I wasn't expecting to do this. Because when I Google like, oh, what's the weather in March? In, in South Korea, it was like, oh, it's fine, it's perfect, it's um, cherry blossom, it's great. That's what niggas was saying. No, it's cold. I need to buy a coat. So that's what I'm gonna do because I only have like these thin little hoodies. This is not gonna cut it. Um, so there's that. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna get some work done and yeah, I will see y'all tomorrow. Can you
subway now. It's definitely a bit more complicated here figuring this out than it was in Hong Kong. <laughs> I was just struggling. I was a bit confused, but I think I figured it out. John is also confused <laughs> where he's coming from. We were texting each other like, uh, th this is confusing. Um, but I think I got it figured out. So on the train now, about to head to the mall. I'm just watching the screen, making sure. <laughs> I'm uh, about to get off at the right location, uh, but we'll figure it out. Finally made it to the mall. It was a struggle getting here, okay? The, the subway system is a little more complex than I expected it to be, but I made it. I made it. So we're here about to eat some Korean barbecue. Of course, it's only right. Um, my skin is struggling at the moment, as y'all can see. I haven't really been on top of my skincare as much as I usually am, so my skincare is on uh, life support at the moment, but we're we going to get it together. Uh, but yeah, I need to buy a coat while I'm here and possibly an umbrella because it's supposed to rain later, so that sucks. Niggas talking about, oh, March is the best time to come to a song, blah, blah, blah and it's cold and rainy, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, about to eat, and then we'll see what we do later. barbecue was so fire it was so good um so we were in the mall for a bit and now we are here at uh seoul sky um it's like the highest building in korea i want to say i'm not making that up <laughs> i'm pretty sure it is anyway so we're up here it's it's a little foggy sprinkling a little bit but it's still a really nice view up here and all of the graphics and whatnot they had on the way up here was really dope so this is really cool Dope. I actually like this one better than the one in Dubai, interestingly enough. And I'm positive that building is taller, but this one was just a bit better. I really liked it. Even though the day isn't as clear, it still was really dope. So if you come here and it's a clear day, I'm sure the shots will be five. Five. We've been at this bar, but it's not really hitting like that. They mainly serve beer here, so we just had fries and a drink um, that I didn't even drink actually. And now we're about to head to this other spot. It is raining outside though, so. I'm not looking forward to that. At first it was sprinkling, but now it's raining, raining. <laughs> what? I don't even know what a good man booty is, to be honest. When girls be like, oh, he got a nice booty, I'm like, what are y'all seeing? I don't get it. I don't, me personally, I don't see, see the purpose of it. Yeah, I'm just like, but I don't know what makes a good booty, yeah. a good man booty. There are people who are fascinated with my man. Oh my God. <laughs> and I truly don't understand that. Jesus. <laughs> you can't really do anything with it. <laughs> no, they can. They can grab it. What you so, mean? We respect the hair, period. <laughs> Let him know, Steph. Period. Y'all, we thugging it in the rain on public transportation. Now we on a bus. Child. <laughs> Um, the good thing though, it's cold, but it's not like unbearably cold, so it's tolerable. I still haven't bought a coat yet, I'm still in this thin ass hoodie, um, but all is well. It's still a really nice night. Okay, y'all, I think we found this speakeasy. I think this is it. 
It looks super sus, but I think this is it. Look at this dark alley that we're in, in this rain. So like if you were just passing this on the street, you wouldn't even know that this is a bar, a hidden speak easy bar. You would be like, oh, it's a little fruit shop that's closed. Like it's super hidden. How cool is this? It's down this dark alley. This the first person shooter. I hope they came with three switches. I'd crash out like fuck rap. This many mill if I had two. Got two T's with it. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. It's up. Lost too many soldiers not to play it safe. If he walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre D. K. Think I won't drop the location. I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me. Nigga, bum. What? I'm really like that. And your best work is a light pack. Nigga, Prince out here. Like Jack, nigga, bum. Your dogs this is a very chill, incognito type of vibe, y'all. We just pulled up, came through a refrigerator to get here, <laughs> and then to order drinks, we have to call on a phone and put a coin in. So, yes, this is definitely a speakeasy type situation. So, it's very cute, very different. So, we're going to order some drinks or whatever and uh, see what it's like. All right, y'all, John is about to order on the phone. Oh my God, it's flickering so bad. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Are we done? Yeah, go. Hi, can I get the espresso martini and... The apple cinnamon punch, I think it was called. Oh, so no. Absolutely thing is so bad. Sorry about that flickering, y'all. It's really annoying and it varies depending on the type of lighting that I'm in. So I don't know, child. I need to get that figured out. But anyway, it's such a vibe in here, okay? And they playing some good music, so that's what's up. But yeah, you have to go up to the payphone, put the coin in and order your drink. So that's just so cute, okay? Very cute. Here's my drink. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, you're right. But how are we going to choose this? Jesus. No, we got to drink it down a little bit. This is fire. Wow. I'm glad they were sold out the other shit. This is so good. All right, now I got to try it. What the hell? Oh, well, yeah, my baby, some good alcohol. <laughs> Leaving out the refrigerator. Oh, oh. So this is literally the front door. How cool is this? So dope. So you open the door and close it super fast. <laughs> I don't have to come out. Last one just popped out. I was like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was super cute. But how those niggas expect to make money is beyond me. Like <laughs> they relying on TikTok because it's like if nobody know you there, how you supposed to get business? I don't understand, but sure. Y'all, we are in this pet store, no and I she want these little doggies. They're so cute. <gasps> Y'all know I had a dog before, and I, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't handle it, but they're so cute. Look at it. They're so cute. A lot of them are asleep. Oh, he's so little. Oh. I really wanted one of those dogs. They were so cute. But I was telling John about puppy bills and I was saying that they be having health conditions. He told me, ain't nothing wrong with these damn dogs. <laughs> like, they Usually they are bred like in mass numbers and they be having health conditions. That's what I heard. Okay, so I don't know. But yeah, they were so cute. And they were like $700. Excuse me. I don't like how those dogs look. <laughs> um, okay, as a puppy, yes, but once he gets older, absolutely not. Seven hundred dollars? That's so cheap. Like what? I might need to come back with a dog. I don't know, but it's like the responsibility is just—it's too daunting, you know. I don't want to deal with that. Probably best that I don't. But oh, they were so cute. 
John was looking at one of these cats. These cats give me the ick. They are so ugly. Why? Oh my God, they're hideous. Think I'm not a cat. I don't care. It needs to be free. Who would buy this? It looks like a crackhead cat. That one don't look too bad. Big ass but he looks one. evil, actually. Cats just, I don't know. <laughs> Something ain't right about them. <laughs> So it is a brand new day. I'm very happy that the rain has cleared and looking at the weather app It's not set to rain again here for another few days. So that's good But yeah, it was just a struggle being out in the rain <laughs> all day yesterday um, And this camera is not waterproof So I was not whipping it out a lot to record whatsoever because I don't want to damage it It's already so small like it's just not giving that just being out in the rain getting wet i was like no <laughs> but today is a brand new day okay uh but yesterday we just pretty much hit up a few speakeasies they have really interesting cool speakeasies here and a lot of them are kind of hitting and like underground i mean i guess that's the purpose of a speakeasy but some of the speakeasies that i know in la they're not like hidden at all <laughs> but a lot of them here are so i just think it's super dope uh, the way they have a lot of them set up. Um, so yeah, we might hit up a speakeasy or two again today because they have so many here. Uh, but yeah, just gonna go to this like village area right now. Um, and then we have an immersive, uh, dinner schedule for tonight. It's supposed to be a really, um, abnormal, interesting experience. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, let's head out. <laughs> in this cafe it's so cute like it feels so serene here I love it um, but this is actually like a shopping area and like there's a lot of food and whatnot over here so yeah I feel like this would be a good area to explore for a bit so I ordered um, a matcha latte drink I don't even like matcha <laughs> matcha tastes like dirt but what it anyway maybe they'll put an interesting spin on it and I'll like it um, and then I got like their signature souffle, so we're gonna see what that's like. The matcha still tastes like dirt, <laughs> but they have like some cream or something in it, so it tastes a bit better than it normally does <laughs> um, from the couple times I've had it before. It's like sweet dirt. <laughs> but these cookies or whatever pastries these are are really good. Well, cute spots. Ambiance, 10 out of 10 for sure. But the food itself, Probably 7 out of 10. I would give it a 7 out of 10. Um, they're baked goods and whatnot. It was decent. Um, but yeah, I'm just walking around now. I'm waiting for John. He just rolled out of bed. <laughs> so he's going to meet me here in a bit. This meat over here smells so good. I need to definitely start eating Korean barbecue more when I get back to LA. Because it's been fire here. I'm I got this cheese snack <laughs> that I saw online, so we're going to see what it's like. I got the waffle and the little honey shit and the cream. Mm. Um, this is okay, but I'm not going to keep eating it. That's all right. I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10. All right, y'all. I threw that away, so we're going to try something else. This is what I'm getting, this honey waffle dessert. This is what it looks like. How cute. I'm here for the aesthetic desserts. Look at that honey dripping. Y'all see the detail? And that's like a fresh honeycomb on there. Here. 
period. They better preach and they better march for what they believe in. Okay? I respect it. I don't think they know what you know each chopper is saying in the song in the store. <laughs> I don't think they know. I'm getting a coat, y'all, finally. Actually, I bought another coat to be honest, but it was $20. I don't like it. Got me a good price on the coat, y'all. I paid $40. Well, the first <laughs> $40. But the first coat I paid $18. And it was kind of thin, but I was like, whatever, this will do. But then I came across the other coat that was much warmer. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna buy this one too. So now I got two coats that I can't even use in LA. <laughs> I mean, I could, but I really don't need them. Ooh, ooh, they got the little strawberry thing. like a main shopping area they have so many stores over here um, I was about to get some skincare get a Korean sheet mask um, but she was trying to play me with the price so I was like girl bye um, but I did try a sheet mask before and it broke me out so I'm trying to get one here and see if the same thing happens because that other one that I used it was from Amazon so I'm like maybe I need an authentic one so I might get one while I'm here, we'll see. Cause my skin is like not doing the best right now. I feel like it's freaking out. At first it was looking decent, but now I'm starting to break out. So I I'ma need the, the Korean people to help me. I need that K-pop skin. If you know, you know. <laughs> Y'all, I'm at the bus stop and these seats are heated. They're super warm. It's so dope. And making sure everybody's butts is warm, you know, when it's cold. I got on the coat that I just bought. I'm actually starting to feel kind of warm though, but I know it'll come in handy while I'm here. It's also gonna rain soon and I'll still be here when it rains. So it's not gonna be fun, but sure. Anyway, we're riding the bus now about to go to dinner. Oh, hands first? Yes, hands first and switch the spoon. Okay. Uh, when it begins to melt. It tastes like sugar, yeah. Hmm? It tastes like sugar. Is it yours with good alcohol? I might as well die. Can you taste the alcohol? I taste some good alcohol. I don't take it. Well, obviously, I don't taste it. wasn't the best most of these though have been good I like them for the most part they're very fancy but I, I could eat a lot of stuff so <laughs> I'm not super duper picky so um, yeah I have in mind most of it but this last one was the greatest and it had cuttlefish in it I don't think I like cuttlefish and they be using it a lot here it's just like Okay, okay, okay. You don't want that free out of here. No, I'm gonna eat it. That's the ladies, not my lady, but ain't Oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta let the possible contenders know. 
They already know. <laughs> How they know? One, they don't care. Two, I told you, it's like, who is she? It's like, first time. <laughs> if I'm posting her, that means that she's not really <laughs> well, Yeah, we're <laughs> friends. <laughs> Period. I'm not posting my love interest. <laughs> in my hotel room so that dining experience was interesting <laughs> to say the least um it was definitely visually pleasing um so it was nice to look at but the food itself was not good okay there were a couple courses that were decent and i will say uh the chicken fried crab or whatever <laughs> was good um it was basically like a chicken you know little drumstick um but it was actually crab meat on the inside so that actually tastes good um and i'm not surprised because they know how to fry out here i still haven't had any fried chicken but definitely gonna get some before i go i need some korean fried chicken um but yeah the food overall was just meh um and it was 420 dollars for two people that's how much we paid. 420 USD. So was that worth it? Absolutely not. I don't recommend it. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you just want to try new experiences. I gotta stop listening to people on TikTok though. I mean, TikTok is a great resource when you're traveling. Um, you come across some some interesting things, but you know, it's a hit or miss, bro. And there were people talking about how nice the restaurant was. I mean, again, it was nice, super nice. Um, and yeah, it was a nice aesthetically pleasing situation but I, I like to go to restaurants to eat i want some good food and then we went to another speakeasy and then um i was like all right i'm gonna go back to my hotel room all right <laughs> like i've been out for like 10 hours all right i left my hotel room around 12 and by the time we were leaving that speakeasy, it was 10. So I was like, yeah, no, I'm going to have to wrap it up. Like, I've been traveling for like three weeks at this point and, and staying out late every night. It's just a no. It's a no. It's not giving that. So, yeah, I was like, eh. So I think John continued to stay out. I think he went to the night market. I'm not exactly sure. But I'm like, I'm, I'm about to wrap it up, buddy. <laughs> So I came back to the room, right? So yeah, I'm about to get some sleep. Tomorrow is John's last day. And then um, I'm going to stay here an additional day. And then I'll be headed to uh, the next country. So looking forward to all of that. But yeah, I'm about to knock out and we'll see what we do tomorrow. We're getting a later start to the day, which I actually prefer because like I told y'all, I was out like 10 hours yesterday and I was just like, all right, this is a lot um, to just be outside walking constantly. And it is cold here as well. So I'm glad we're starting a bit later. So it's almost 4 p.m. So we're about to uh, head out and meet John. Uh, and he ended up going out last night. He went to this like hip hop uh, a little club that he found he was out till 5 a.m so I was like yeah I'm glad you had a good time but it, it was a no for me <laughs> if I would have stayed out with him and stayed out till five I would have been out for what's that 16 hours from 12 p.m to 5 a.m the next day no 17 hours 17 hours if my math is correct that's a no <laughs> that that's just a no and john is about to go back home tomorrow so his trip is ending mine is not all right i got i got some more time on this trip i'm not trying to burn myself out that that much so i was just like yeah you you go on ahead usually i try to you know match the vibe of people i'm traveling with and i'm usually a go with the flow type of person but sometimes i have to set that boundary and be like yeah actually no i'm gonna wrap it up i'm gonna go back to my hotel have a good time. <laughs> Have a good night. Enjoy. Or I'll be like, no, nah, I'm not having this tense drink. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm cutting it off here, you know. Um, and, you know, people I fuck with and I travel with, they're always cool about it. Nobody ever makes me feel weird or tries to pressure me into doing anything. They might make a joke or two, but it's never that deep. Um, so, yeah, he just went on to, to enjoy his night. So I'm like, I'm happy for you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're going to go out now. We're going to go to the Central Market and then we're going to hit up. Uh, the speakeasy and then this chicken spot, I believe, is what we're doing. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
the hell? What type of tax they be under here? We just left the chicken place with like the broomstick. Very cute. I don't think I even showed the chicken wings. I was hungry. <laughs> so we just started eating. Uh, but now we are in this um, nightlife area, it looks like. Um, but it's still a little early. Got my my Korean sheet mask. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna see if these work with my skin. I got some for acne prone skin, so we'll see if it works. Because the other ones I use on Amazon, like I said, they broke me out. I want to give it another chance, you know, because the Korean people are doing something. They doing something with their skin, and I need to do it too. <laughs> so I need to give this another try. If this don't work, then I don't know. I need to know what these niggas are doing to get this glass skin. Of course they got these BTS niggas everywhere. <laughs> they got calendars, sticker sets. This, this is a lot. Y'all, they got hella street food over here. <laughs> And they have like some hot dogs and John was saying that he's apprehensive to try like hot dogs in other countries and I was like yeah you really don't want to try it here because it might actually be a hot dog because eating dogs is not banned here they said it won't be banned until 2025 so technically you can legally still eat dog hair I don't think it's in the main areas though like the touristy areas I don't think they're doing that um, over here, I don't think, <laughs> um, but it, it is practice here, okay? It is not illegal here in South Korea. But I actually watch uh, these Asians, I watch their podcast, <laughs> and one of the guys is Korean, and he said that it's not that common uh, here. So I, I guess I'll trust what he's saying, but it does happen, it does occur. day so last night we just walked around quite a bit and uh, we went to the night market that was really nice i really enjoyed the night market um and then we found another speakeasy <laughs> and we were there for a bit uh and then we just wrapped up the night probably around like midnight and i actually had a tour scheduled for today but it was around like 6 a.m and i was just too tired i didn't make it because i was out a bit late and it was for John's birthday so you know I want to stay out with him for his b-day um, so yeah I missed the tour so RIP to the money that I paid <laughs> for that tour but it's fine but yeah I woke up and I was just like I'm tired as hell and then I checked the weather app and it said it's gonna rain a bit today so that was like the, the determining factor I was like absolutely not I'm not gonna go um, but yeah John is actually leaving today so we're gonna be on our own once again okay <laughs> so i'm gonna actually meet with him um he wants to go to like this museum so we're gonna go there for a bit and then yeah his flight is a little bit later on so he's gonna be up out of here so um yeah that's what we're gonna do so won't you say my name say my name if you claim you want me it ain't no that you acting kind of shady you ain't been calling me baby we're about to head out from this museum. It's nothing too special here. So, it's not that much to see. The architecture is really nice though. But, yeah, they don't have any actual interesting exhibits or anything like that. 
I mean, that cake was cute, <laughs> but other than that, they don't have much. So, we're gonna head out. This is a market they have. It starts with a G. I'll put it on the, I'll put it on the screen because I don't know how to pronounce it. Me and John been calling it Gwang Bang. Gang bang, or what we've been calling it. Gang wang bang. Gang wang bang, that's what we've been calling it. That is not the name, but I will put the name on the screen for y'all. Uh, but yeah, they seem like they have a lot of good food here. So, yeah, that uh, pork, pork pancake was really good. So now we're gonna see what this waffle is like. Comes with strawberry cream and apple jam. And she's making the waffle now. <laughs> Probably. It's pretty good. I like it. So, this is the second thing I've had here. Maybe I'll get something else because I'm trying to use all the cash that I have left over. So, you know, we'll see if I get something else. A few moments later. Y'all, I wasn't even going to get this at first, but I tasted some of John's and I was like, oh, this is kind of fire. <laughs> So I, I need this too. And my stomach is kind of upset, can't lie. I guess it was from what I ate yesterday. Maybe the chicken, I don't know. But it's kind of upset, okay? I ain't gonna get too too deep into the details, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I'm hoping this don't make it worse because I've been eating a lot since I've been here. Right. On YouTube, I saw this girl doing it and the tentacles was like sticking to her face. Oh, I didn't talk about it. Yeah. Oh, touch it? Oh. Huh. Ah, get him, get him! <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Y'all, I'm about to eat this live squid. You gotta do, you gotta do, what happened? <laughs> you gotta act. When in Rome, do as the Romans, period. So I gotta try it. John gonna try it too. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Lefty? Yes. No, we only want yeah, No, we need two. <laughs> Yo, I, I could eat pretty much anything. <laughs> I could pretty much eat anything, so. Uh, soup. Oh, soup. Maybe more. Okay. Thank you. Alright. Get one that's moving. Wait, they're kind of sticking together. Use your hands. No. Why are they trying to bond back together? This is weird. You're going to do this part? It's moving in my mouth. It's actually not bad. It's not bad. Try it. I don't mind it. It's not bad. Mm. 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 It's just really chewy. Yo, John gonna tell this lady to cook it. <laughs> Talking about then he'll eat it if it's cooked. <laughs> he didn't mess it up. Oh, they still moving too. <laughs> she gonna cook them and they still gonna be moving. <laughs> they still gonna be moving around. Y'all, I was telling John, it was moving literally between my teeth. You know, I should get stuck in between your teeth. It was moving in between my teeth. She has cooked it though. It stopped moving for the most part. So, now we're gonna try it cooked. Thank you. Okay, we're trying the squid. Trying squid. I had John to, didn't want to eat alive. I had a request for the lady to cook it, and she did, so I'm gonna hold my end of the bargain up. Mm, it's still moving a little bit. Oh my God. <laughs> Just a little. 
Like barely in some areas. But not for the most part it's, it's dead. No, no, it's, it's really good. Come on. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, fine. This is the smallest piece. I'm gonna take that one. It's not bad, right? I don't want to record. We gotta do it again for the vlog. <laughs> Come on. Fucking influencers, I tell you. <laughs> Come on. Fucking influencers, I tell you. Me and John about to try. It cooked. Is this big enough? Mm-hmm. Okay, kiss it. Ain't it out Kiss it. Hey, big, hey. Oh, yes. Hey, you kiss it. said I want my money. Is that a car? Is that a car? No, no, only kiss. You have no cash? ATM? ATM? Um, ATM? Okay. I'll be right back. He'll stay. Okay, okay. Oh, sure, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> she said, uh, where my money? Uh, how much is it? 18000 That was an interesting experience, y'all. <laughs> I mean, this is not something I would order constantly, um, but it's not bad. It don't taste bad. Um, it was just experience so I enjoyed it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Just woke up from a nap. Uh, quick story time regarding this whole squid situation. Um, it actually ended up being an octopus, come to find out. But uh, in one of the group chats that I'm in, uh, one of my friends was asking about my experience in Seoul, and the octopus came up, and she's like, oh my God, send a video we want to see. Um, and I sent a video, and there's a girl that's in this group chat that I don't really care for. Um, she's not my friend. She's a friend of a friend. Um, and she was added to the group chat like recently actually and she was the first to comment and was like oh my god that's so disgusting like I could never do anything like that like ew I would never and I'm just like, <laughs> like what was the point in that comment like girl yeah you right you could never like you've never even been outside the country outside of Mexico so what are we talking about? And not to be like shady or classes or whatever, but it's like, if you're going to come with negativity, we could come with the facts. Like you physically could never. <laughs> so what was the point in saying that? And I feel like that just highlights how so many people just live in a state of fear. And I get comments like that also, um, you know, being on social media. I remember when I posted me hanging off of the side of the building um, in Dubai, so many people were like, oh my God, this gave me anxiety. I could never do anything like that. And it's like, okay, then don't. Like, why are you sharing this? <laughs> this is not about you. Like, then don't do it. Like, so many people live a life of mediocrity because they're stuck in their bubble and they're afraid of stepping anywhere outside of their comfort zone. I don't operate like that. I don't live my life like that. And I feel like that's why I have the life that I do is because I... I am not afraid to have new experiences and, and to try crazy things and do new things. Um, and I feel like it also helps you have a more fulfilling life when you experience life to the fullest. Um, and obviously, it's not to say you have to hang off the side of a building or, you know, eat live squid <laughs> in order to have a full life. But it just represents how so many people are just afraid of just everything. And that's why they continue to live their basic ass lives. And it's like, all right, don't project that onto me. Let me do what I want to do. I just don't understand the point of making comments like that. And it's so weird because uh, I've been to a sushi restaurant with this girl, like for one of my friend's birthday, um, and she ate sushi. So I'm like, this is not that far off. <laughs> if you eat sushi, like that fish ain't been dead that long. And restaurants that I've been to, like if you go to a good quality sushi restaurant, a lot of them will kill the fish in house. So that fish ain't been dead too long. And that's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like sushi. It was just like super duper chewy, but that's what it tastes like. So I'm just like, why are you acting like this is that far off? Um, but anyway, I was like, girl, bye. Like, get the fuck off my phone. And nobody even responded to her. 
everybody just ignored her. And it's like, people like that are so insufferable. Like, how do you not have the basic social skills and social awareness to understand that that's an unnecessary comment to make? Like, what do you want me to say to that? <laughs> I don't, I don't, like, everybody just ignored her. But, uh, anyway, I'm about to get up and uh, give me something to eat. I will holla at y'all later. All right, y'all, so I just want to wrap up this vlog and talk about my experience in South Korea. So overall, my experience in Seoul was cool, okay? I did enjoy it overall, but I will say that I went into it with my expectations a bit too high. For whatever reason, in my head, I thought it would be like a mini Japan. Don't know why, maybe because it is so close and I feel like online I've always seen you know great things about South Korea so I just thought it would be this amazing grand experience and I was a bit let down because of that so maybe that is my fault for setting my expectations too high um first off the shopping was underwhelming okay um the malls were not that great uh, especially Coex Starfield which is one of their most popular malls it's the mall that has the famous live library in it that mall was so underwhelming I was like this is it I don't think I even recorded much in that mall because I was disappointed especially coming from Hong Kong and seeing their dope malls I was just like oh this is it like you know so that was kind of a letdown um and also the public transportation was so unnecessarily complicated I remember we were on this particular train line follow me okay <laughs> this train line that we were on we had to get off of that train okay and on the same platform ride the next train with the same name because the train that we were on was going north and that other train that we had to get on was going south but it had the same name and we couldn't get on that train from where we started because we started west and that particular line started from the north so it went like this and then went south and we were on the west so i remember we got off of that line and then we were waiting on the platform for the next train with the same name and john was like wasn't we just on this train and i'm like yes but we have to get on this other train because this one is going south and if we would have stayed on the other train we would have been going north so if it sounds confusing it's because it was all right i was like all right <laughs> so you have to pay very close attention when you are riding the trains there and so i feel like it was way more complicated than in hong kong in comparison on to the positives though i did enjoy the food the korean barbecue was great and it just reminded me that i need to be eating more korean barbecue when i am back in la and I live like 10 minutes from Koreatown and people are always raving about how the food is good in Koreatown. I'm like, what am I doing? I need to get my shit together and start eating more Korean barbecue um, because it was really good. I did enjoy their street food um, as well. Their markets, dope, dope markets. The Gwangjang market <laughs> and um, the night market, super cool, really enjoyed it. They have skincare everywhere, so if you are big into skincare, you would be in heaven. And the speakeasies, so many cool speakeasies that were super underground and hidden, so cool. So I really enjoyed that as well. It has so many pet shops, seeing all the little puppies was so cute. Everybody there had like a little white dog. <laughs> so that was so adorable seeing that all the time. So definitely if you're into like skincare and food and markets, you would probably enjoy it. Um, definitely need to be careful though when eating street food that has any meat in it. I ate chicken um, and I remember my stomach being upset quite a bit uh, before I even got to the market that next day um, and even ate the octopus. And speaking of the octopus, let me touch on that <laughs> as well and clarify. The octopus was not actually alive, okay? I'm using the term alive because it's moving and it looks like it's alive, but as shown in the video, the lady literally cleans it and then she chops off the head and the body and discards it. So at that point, the octopus is finito. It is dead. The reason why the limbs continue to move is due to neurons, okay? Um, they are triggered and they cause, you know, the limbs to still move even though it is completely dead. Um, this same thing occurs in other beings. Turtles can still swim for a bit after their heads are cut off. Um, you have the popular saying, running around like a chicken with its head cut off that's the same because that's an actual thing if you cut a chicken's head off it can still run around for a while um this also happens with human beings i remember seeing an episode on law and order svu about this about um uh 
bodies still moving in the morgue after they're dead and um i remember looking it up and bodies often will twitch and move and sometimes they'll completely shift to where a, a corpse will move its arm to like another side of their body even though they're dead so it's a common thing that occurs um it, it just looks weird and it feels weird when you're eating it but it is not alive and I want to clarify that because I know I reacted to a video a while ago and there was a, a lady and I think I even mentioned it in the video when I was talking to John about it there's a lady who's eating a live octopus and it's intact. It's head and body is intact. I don't agree with that. I think that's fucked up because you are then torturing the damn octopus. It's alive. That's why that octopus was attacking her because it's like, bitch, the fuck is you doing? Like, it's alive and it, it feels with what's happening and it knows what's going on. You're trying to eat it. So that's a completely different situation. I think that's a bit brutal. If you're going to eat you know animals and fish you need to kill them first <laughs> completely just like I wouldn't agree with just chomping on a fucking chicken like that's that I think that's weird but you know if you're going to eat it then make sure it's dead it's just that when you eat octopus right after you kill it its limbs are still moving <laughs> and then even when you pour salt on it I feel like that triggers the neurons as well I remember reading that um, so that's why she like sprinkled salt and she put like some soy sauce and stuff on it and that makes it move even more. Um, so just want to, you know, clear that up. And it, that's a practice that is commonly practiced in Asia. That's why when I mentioned the girl <laughs> who was talking shit in the group chat, that's why I was like, oh, you, you physically could never cause you ain't really even been out the country like that. Because if you're going to eat something like that, more than likely you're going to be in Asia. Um, it's not something that's commonly practiced in other parts of the world. Like people aren't doing that. It's a, a very Asian thing, very popular in like South Korea, some parts of China, um, even nothing in Japan. Um, it is a, it's a delicacy or whatever, but they kill it first usually, okay? <laughs> Just putting that out there. Um, anyway, my experience overall in South Korea was good. Okay, I don't feel like I need to go back. I would though if I, you know, went with someone else. They wanted to to go. I would be like, okay, cool. I would go with them. But just on my own, or just me like recommending the place, or just me being like, oh, I would love to go back. It's not given that, um, but I mean, it was an experience and I still enjoyed it. But anyway, uh, that is all I have to say about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, I will see you on the next one. Bye.